My black is gold. Should have killed me a century ago. All the stories are untold. But every word like a diamond to behold. My love is bold. In the process of interrogating the story of our history, we must be willing to think not just about the words on the page, but also the paper, the pen, the writer, the room. What materials were used to construct the history we have learned, and by whom? In answer to these questions, artists like Pat Ward Williams direct our gaze to the medium of photography. Her 1986 multimedia collage called Accused Blowtorch Padlock centers a Life magazine photo of a black man being lynched, which she literally reframes in a found wooden windowsill and surrounds with bold and emotional chalk lettering that communicate her own thoughts as a black woman seeing this photograph. Can you be black and look at this? She asks. I love the rhythm of the text that's created that allows for the image to be amplified. You stole my gold. Who took this picture? Couldn't he just as easily let the man go? Her questions indict not just the actions of the killers, but also the complacency of the photographer and the viewer provoking us to think about how our history is purposefully constructed through the creation and circulation of photographs in ways that maintain white supremacy in all its forms. In 1995, Carrie Mae Weems picks up the question of the subjectivity of photography in a gallery installation called From Here I Saw What Happened and I Cried. She layered red-toned glass and emotionally impactful text over black and white photographs to direct our gaze to the distance between the anthropologist who took the photos and the subjects themselves. Everything you, have I own and everything you have this narrative that runs across the entire work, images that lay out a very specific development of history, of photographic history in the United States, and of black history in the United States. At a critical moment in photography's integration into mass culture, Weems cautions us to take note of how the camera can become an anthropological weapon, a tool used to construct race as biologically determined through the tinted lenses of science and law. But my war, you are in. Yes. Let the crown die. Lorna Simpson, just a few years before, uses self portraiture to insert herself into this intergenerational conversation. The placement of the phrase is nine tenths of the law over her reproductive organs allude to the ways in which the law upholds capitalism through legal domination over black women's bodies. Go is home and everything you have I own and every wishes of my brother. The intense red and black colors, like in Carrie Mae Weems' work, remind us that the exploitation of black women has been foundational to the development of the state, while at the same time communicating a refusal to surrender. The layering of different meanings and mediums is essential to the photographic art of these artists of the African diaspora, just as it is essential to our recollections of the past. Our memories build up, each influencing the next, and the web of stories we encounter helps us situate ourselves in the present. In the words of critical media scholar Stuart Hall, I think of the new not as breaking completely with the past, but always as reconfiguring the elements of the past with some elements that are new. The labor of Pat Ward Williams, Carrie Mae Weems, and Lorna Simpson paves a bright pathway for photographic artists of contemporary black social movements like Black Lives Matter. My throne. In the process of interrogating the story of history, these black women artists take control of the room, grab the pen, set down the page, and write revolution into the past, present, and future.
The age of innocence has passed, and you are now responsible for your own future.